Divide Nigeria. U.S. military veteran Alat Tinibu make shocking demand about Inambikanu and Nigeria. See what they said. Well, the United States military veteran of Igbo descendants, a prominent organization comparison of U.S. military personnel of, Nang of Igbo heritage, has issued a stern warning to the Nigerian government led by President Bola Tinibu. Well, Going further, before I move further, good morning everyone and thank you for tuning in and listening to this headline. As a headline for this morning says, Divine Nigeria, U.S. military veteran at last table makes shocking demand about in the and Nigeria. See what they said. Well, in a recent statement, the group demanded the immediate release of Mazi in the Kanu. Of Mazin and Kanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Brafia IPOB, and all the government to restore Nigeria to the uh, regional autonomy framework outlined in the 1960-63 constitution. While well, the group warned that the current political and security landscape in Nigeria is unsustainable and can, can, can lead to severe instability if not asserted. While well, the call for the group which yields significant influence within the Nigerian diaspora reflects growing discontent among certain factions within the Igbo community. This veteran argued that a return to the regional autonomy model of the early 1960s would provide a more equitable governance framework, addressing long-standing grievance and fostering national unity. The organization, the organization believes that this step is crucial to resolving Nigerian social, economic, and security challenges. Well, Dr. Chief, Dr. Chief Dr. Sylvester Onya, the president of the group, signed the statement, which was issued through the group secretary, Dr. Godzin Ubiagu. In the statement, Onya emphasized that Nigeria's current centralized gov gov governance structure is at the heart of many. Well, of the of the is at the heart of many of the nation's problem. He asserted that the only viable solution is to revert the regional autonomy system, which was to which was in place during the early post independence year. According to Onya, the, this model must allow if must allow for for more localized governance, enabling regions to address their unique challenges more effectively. Well, the statement also referred. A significant um, meeting that took place in 2017 in, in Enugu State shortly after Inambikanu was released from the groups described as illegal detention. The, the meeting, which include prominent figures such as the late Professor Ben Wambuese, Evangelist Elliot Uko, and the governors of the Southeast region, was convened to discuss the demand of the British people. As that missing can be presented a series of demand aimed at addressing the marginalization of the Southeast region within the Nigeria Federation. One of Kanu's key demand was to upgrade of or the upgrade of Enugu Airport to a grade one international airport. He agreed that this this would allow the large Ibu diaspora to travel directly to the southeast by passing other parts of Nigeria. Additionally, Kanu called for the dredging of the river states to facilitate trade and reduce the financial burden on Igbo importers. He also demanded the upgrade he also demanded the the, the demanded the upgrade of Uwe Airport, which was initially funded by contributions from the local government during the internal of Governor Sam Mbaka to a functioning la, um, cargo airport. Yes, that's all. That's not all. But what I can say for you guys concerning this headline today this morning, which says here that divide Nigeria, U.S. military veteran alert Tinubu makes shocking demands about Tinubu, about Tinubu and Nigeria. See what they want. Well, you had it for me this morning. And if you're not a subscriber, the best you can do right here and right now is to tap that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, leave a like on the video to get more updates concerning this in the next feature to come. Well, people say divide Nigeria, divide Nigeria, divide Nigeria, the best solution ever. But is that actually so? People, people, people want this to divide Nigeria. A lot of people still want to be Nigeria. Uh, well, as of today, this military, uh, the United States military version of Igbo descent, who is a group organization 
um, comprising of former U.S. military personnel of the Nigerian government, led by um, led by the president, led, led, led by its president. Well, they issued a stern call to the Nigerian government. President Bola met him without giving him a stern warning that you don't have for, for yes, the, one of the first things they called was the release of Inam Khan. That like that is the one that they, they really begged the president for because I don't know why the president don't want to release this man. Yeah. I don't know why the president did not want to release this man. He urged the, the government to restore Nigeria to the regional autonomy framework, outlined in the 1960s and 1963 constitution. The group said one that the current, like they want that what is happening right here, right now, can actually cause havoc, can actually cause pain. It, no, is it is already, is, is already causing pain. Can cause more havoc in the future. And it is unstable. It is unsustainable, and it could lead to instability, serious instability in the country. Yes, this recent, this high cost of living in Nigeria is, un, is unsustainable. People cannot even afford it. People can, can't afford um, food prices anymore. So that is what this group is telling you that. First of all, um, remove that ban on the Enugu Airport so that it, it will be, it will be a, a level one international airport. So that in case somebody wants to come into the um, like the southeast now from other part of the country you will not be stopping illegal before you now drive here all these concepts can even change the bad people's people mind okay, okay oh yeah the south is already developing we don't need to go anymore but he doesn't want to listen and see where it's been causing him to now drop a comment in the comment section concerning this yes concerning this because people are saying a lot of things concerning this particular news in the comment section well one thing is for sure Yes, one thing is for sure, and I always say it. If the president can actually release them, the kind of problems in the South is will definitely end. And it will focus more on governing Nigeria to, 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 to a better height. Yes. What do you guys think? Drop a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to leave a like on this video. Then tap the subscribe button as we go along with the notification bell. So that anytime I have any new video, you'll be the first to get notified about it. Once again, thank you for tuning in and have a wonderful day. I love you.